Good evening, I'm Paul Adler. The future of the Christian County Library District feels murky tonight. The board's president abruptly resigned last night. This happened as new board members are targeted in a lawsuit accusing them of breaking the rules. Regan DeTrolio joins us live for the turmoil at last night's meeting unfolded. She's at the Nixa Community Library branch with fallout from this sudden resignation. Regan. Paul, the board president told me she resigned over her concerns regarding censoring LGBTQIA material and grouping those books together with sexually explicit ones. Last night, you could hear crowds cheering her on for her service on the board, but also applauding her for stepping down. But these people are wanting blanket labels showing that these books have LGBTQ material uh, because they want to be able to quickly see that they are books they don't want their children reading rather than picking up the book and looking at it themselves. Former Christian County Library Board President Allison Tuckness says she's been verbally abused in board meetings. It got to the point where I was constantly checking my email because uh, an incredible amount of unwarranted emails were going around between some of the new uh, board members and uh, calling for special meetings that took me a time away from my family. And uh, it got to the point where I was actually like physically uncomfortable and feeling sick on the weeks leading up, like a week leading up to a meeting. She also believes laws were violated when board trustees Echo Schneider, John Garrity, and Diana Brazil were supposed to elect a vice president at one meeting, but instead elected themselves. A motion was made and passed to elect a slate. Uh, so that violated Sunshine Law because the public was not made aware that a slate would be uh, nominated or um, there would be an election for it. That also violated our bylaws because it stated that um, full officer elections happened in December. KY3 did reach out to the trustees for an interview. Instead, the library district sent us the following statement saying the process of creating a space to meet everyone's expectations can be chaotic, but that's what being a public library is all about, something for everyone. We are always concerned about anything at the local, state, or national level that interferes with the library's mission to provide services and resources to the community. And some community members like Christian County State Representative Jamie Gregg support putting labels on certain books. It is not a malicious thing like some people have kind of thought it would be or it, it will be. It's actually to help the parents so the parents can be more of a, a, a watcher of what their children are actually getting. It is my opinion that the best thing for the library is to have something for everybody and uh, not uh, discriminate or label anybody or any anything. The trustees also just fired the library district's attorney on the lawsuit. The first hearing for that lawsuit is going to be on next Wednesday, and then the next library board meeting will be right here on November 19th. Live in Nixa, I'm Reagan DeTrolio, KY3 News.